Nearly one out of every 13 children reportedly has a food allergy. Families with severe allergies often rely on those EpiPens to deliver a dose of potentially life-saving medicine if a child has a very bad reaction. But the cost of the EpiPen is surging, putting the pinch on many families. The auto injector's price has risen by more than 480 percent since 2009. Vanita Nair introduces us to a family which has felt every bit of that increase. Vanita, good morning. Good morning. This is a training device families use to practice what to do in the event of an emergency. They simply remove the safety cap and push the EpiPen into the thigh. The real thing is filled with epinephrine, which can counter the effects of a severe allergic reaction. The actual cost of the drug inside the EpiPen is only a couple of bucks, so the manufacturer is essentially charging hundreds of dollars for a case and a trusted name. This is all I have. An EpiPen is never far away in the Henniger household or dinner time. So this is our Mexican pizza. Is a cautious time. Of the family's six children, two have severe food allergies. Three-year-old Cora and seven-year-old Ellie. Ellie has a laundry list of foods mm -hmm. to avoid. Dairy, wheat, um, soy, uh, eggs, peanuts, tree nuts, sesame seeds. It's why both girls never leave their Indianapolis area home without their fanny pack. So it's always good to have it with me. So you can get really sick if you don't have that with you. Mm -hmm. As a baby, Ellie's allergic reactions were so severe, hives covered her entire body. Her family has twice used the EpiPen to save her life. Her lips turned blue, she started swelling, she wasn't able to breathe. They have to replace the injectors every year when they expire. The Hennigers remember paying as little as $80 for them five or six years ago before they switched to a high deductible health plan. We really noticed it in the past year, year and a half when we went to go have it filled, it was 600. When the pharmacist first told you the bill, did you think you must be wrong? I did. I had her look it up again and she didn't have to because she had answered that question many times with many other people who asked her the same question of, are you sure that the EpiPen is that expensive? And, and it is. In 2009, pharmacies paid slightly more than $100 for a two-pack of EpiPens. The price has since skyrocketed to more than $600. If they don't have it, it could mean life or death. Pharmacist Leon Tarasenko says the high prices are forcing some families to take risks. Within the last two months, we've had about three patients who had issues with the price of an EpiPen. And we actually, they did not receive it. They just refused to take it. Bloomberg's senior medical reporter Robert Langrith says the manufacturer of the device, Mylan, has a virtual monopoly after its main competitor launched a recall last fall. This brand name EpiPen, it's like Kleenex to allergists. You know, it's a name they know and trust. It's what they prescribe. He says the company has remarketed the decades-old device without making any significant changes since acquiring it in 2007. I couldn't breathe, but I had it with me. And used it immediately. My EpiPen auto-injector. It spent tens of millions of dollars on TV ads and donated the device to schools across the U.S., ensuring it was a familiar product. It's a totally established brand name with little competition. That gives them freedom to raise the price every year. In a statement, Mylan tells CBS News the EpiPen's price has changed over time to better reflect important product features and the value the product provides, saying we've made a significant investment to support the device over the past years. Are you fearful the price could continue to go up? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Prices are based on competition and there's no competition. The company offers coupons, which have allowed many patients to pay nothing out of pocket. Those coupons are worth up to $100, so families with high deductibles like the Hennigers are still on the hook for the majority of the cost. Wow, well, they've really cornered the market. It. Yeah, when you need it, you need it, but that's an awful, eight, from 80 to 600 in that period of time? That's tough that for hurts. a lot of families. Benita, thank you.